Welcome to our follow-up drive time. In this video, I want to show you how to use a PWM signal as the source for either the target position or the target speed. PWM signals are usually used when an embedded controller is controlling the movement, so is in control of our motion controller. And to generate such a source, I uh, used an Arduino Nano here to generate a PWM signal based on the uh, potentiometer here. But before I switch to the view of the motion manager, there is again one slide where I want to explain the scaling that we have to do here. So here is the summary of the scalings that we have to consider when using PWM reference signals. A single signal can either be connected to digital in one or digital in two. So there's only one PWM signal that we can use. Otherwise, it can be used identical to the analog inputs, usually used in combination with embedded controllers. And uh, so as a PWM signal is essentially having 0% to maximum of 100%, that's the scaling here. So we do get the input range of the duty cycle, and that's the internal numeric range here. So we are counting 15 bit up to 32,767 counts here. And uh, what we now have to do is once again, of course, do the rescaling here uh, to the numeric range that we want to use here. For position control, for example, if we want to have uh, one turn of the motor out of the PWM signal, it would be once again dividing to the uh, uh, unscaled range here and multiply with the range that we want to have. And that's done in the, uh, once again, in the encoder section. And so let's switch to the motion manager to the, see this in a live view. So here is the view of the motion manager and my setup. I connected the PWM output of my Arduino to the digital input 2 of the I.O. connector. And then there is an additional LED here for me to watch the uh, changing uh, duty cycle when I uh, turn the dial here. Configuration is done using the drive functions window. It's again in the encoder section, same as for the gearing and the step mode. First is to select the digital input that I'm using here. So it's the digital input 2 that the PDRM is connected to. And then consider the scaling. Raw scaling for the full 0 to 100% is the 15 bits. So uh, 0 to 32767 counts. And uh, here the numerator of my gain would be the increments that I want my drive to move on a full range of my dial. For a single turn, for example, it would then be entering these 4096 increments that uh, we are calculating out of the linear hall signals of these brushless motors. Of course, I can also add an offset here if I want to have a positive and negative direction, but I'm not going to do this right now. So send the configuration. And uh, then what I have to do is select the source used for position control. In that case, it's the PWM input. And of course, once again, select the appropriate uh, operating mode analog position control. Send that one. And uh, then I can close the drive functions window, start watching, start the motor control and then use the dial here to move the motor and you can see it's moving one turn and uh, that's it for position control here i have to be uh, a little careful with the resolution here because this arduino is only generating an 8-bit pwm value so we don't have a very high resolution so that's why i limit the position range here for this uh, video so let's do the same for the speed mode. For speed control based on a PWM signal, the setup is unchanged. So my embedded controller here is still generating the 0 to 100% PWM and it's connected to the second digital input. So no changes here. What I have to change is the configuration here. So once again, the drive functions window. 
And the first stop is once again the PWM input unit here. It's still the second input here, but the scaling is a different one when I want to control the speed because uh, now, of course, the raw range here of the signal is still the same, but uh, the target size here is a different one. For example, if I want to have a slow movement for you to be able to watch it in the video, let's have a maximum of 200 RPM out of this. And I can, of course, add um, an offset here to have a positive or negative movement. Okay, so scaling is done. I have to change the routing. So no longer using the PWM input as the target position, but as the target speed and uh, change to uh, speed control. That's done up here in the operating modes. And this is analog velocity control. Send. And of course, uh, remember to save your settings if you want to have them permanent, close it. And uh, then we can enable the control. And it's already moving because it's not exactly at in the middle of the potentiometer. And then using the screwdriver here, let's change the speed. And you can see the drive following here. That's it about using a PWM signal as a source for either speed or position. If you've got any additional questions, of course, as always, ask our local sales team or contact our MC support team. Otherwise, check back with our channel here. You might leave a comment. And thanks for watching and bye.